Meta released the official V68 update for the Quest devices and there are some exciting additions and improvements. To start with, you get the new AI powered assistant called as Meta AI, but this addition is currently in the experimental mode and is available only in the US and Canada, which is a bummer. I did try to use VPN, but it did not work for me, so I guess I have to just wait a bit longer. However, Meta did release a demo video of this and it looks really promising. Here, have a look at it yourself. What do you see in front of me? I see a dog, lounge chairs, and an umbrella on a deck in front of you. Next on the list, we have the layout app. It's a utility app that helps you visualize real world items like tables, chairs, TVs in your physical world. And it has a tool that lets you measure anything in your 3D space. Right now, I have a mixed feeling about this. Sometimes it feels a bit buggy, but being a developer myself, I do understand that you cannot get everything right. I'm sure it will be updated over time. The final addition to this update is the low battery alert which gives you an audio alert when you take off your headset and the battery is low. This is going to be really helpful for me because I keep forgetting to charge my headset during the development process. Now coming to the improvements, the update claims to have improved the graphic performances for all the Quest devices, which means that you will have a smoother and more responsive experience. Apart from that, the update brings Quest 3 specific graphic and performance improvements like reduced performance latency and content adaptive brightness control. Now these features will definitely improve the quality of our experience and you can turn them on from the experimental settings. The next big improvement that we see is the resolution of screenshot. Once again, this is a Quest 3 only update where it bumps up your resolution from 1440 to 2160. Next, we have the keyboard improvements where the keyboard will now appear in a more optimal position and it won't overlap with other screens. As you can see, it pops right back if you try to place it somewhere in between the screen. Now, if you're a streamer or a content creator, then this update will make you happy. You can now control the audio level balance between your microphone and the game audio while recording, live streaming or casting. All right, so those were some of the cool V68 updates. I have added the link for the release notes below if you want to check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.